Welcome to our second lesson on gross domestic product uh, for a macroeconomic tutorial. Uh, starting off, we're going to discuss the components of GDP. There are four major categories of expenditures in GDP calculations that need to be taken into consideration. We use these categories to understand fluctuations in GDP along with forecasting future conditions in GDP amounts to plan for growth. As we said before in other videos that GDP is used by businesses and individuals um, as a deciding factor. Uh, decision makers use GDP to decide where to expand business, where to build factories, where to invest. Um, so it's a very important factor of how this is measured to understand the growth of the economy and the overall production. Um, so the four major categories of expenditures would be personal consumption expenditures, gross private domestic investment, governmental consumption and gross investment, net exports of goods and services. Uh, personal consumption expenditures can be broken down into expenditures made by households and are divided into expenditures on services, durable goods, and non-durable goods. So this is more of what we had looked at before in the circular flow diagram regarding how households make a certain amount of income and then put that income back in the economy by purchasing the products and services produced by businesses. Um, it just breaks it down into more of the services and the types of goods. Durable and non-durable goods are based more on the useful life of the goods and what type of goods that they are. Gross private domestic investment governmental consumption and gross investment and net exports of goods and services are all very important areas of GDP. One of them that is usually on a negative would be net exports of goods and services which we will describe more in further videos. Uh, the GDP equation would be Y equals C plus I plus G plus NX which uses those four key areas in the equation. So below you can see Y equals gross domestic product, C consumption, I investment, G government purchases, and NX for net exports. Uh, this graph gives a uh, display of an example of percentages of GDP according to those four key uh, expenditure factors and as you can see net exports in this case is negative uh, most of the time when looking at net ex exports you must take into consideration that if we import more than we export then that's a factor of how it's going to be netted and that could give a positive or negative value so that's the thing that changes this the other three factors are not uh, netted of any other calculation Uh, shortcomings in GDP as a measure of total production. Two factors are important to keep in mind when looking at GDP. Goods produced by households are not included in the calculation of finished goods in GDP. So overall there might be more production in a country than GDP accounts for. Also underground economy production is not included because the underground economy contains illegal products or business that is concealed from the government to avoid taxes and regulations. So a lot of illegal production, a lot of illegal sales of uh, narcotics, stolen products, bootleg materials could all count for a lot of things that go on in the economy that aren't um, accounted for in measurements. Shortfalls are using gross domestic product as a measure for strength and well-being of an economy. Uh, four factors are important to keep in mind. Gross domestic product measures the size of the economy, but not how it is divided up. GDP is not adjusted for changes in crime and other social problems. GDP is not adjusted for pollution or other negative effects of production. And the value of leisure is not included in GDP. Um, if you enjoyed this lesson on economics, please subscribe to our channel. And we have other lessons on gross domestic product along with other economic tutorials. So 
If you would like to hear more on economics, please check out our other videos.